Hello, Taurus. Let's see what the story is for your March 2024. Let's see what is happening for you all. Okay, there's a fresh start here. But it, it just, there's a lot of exhaustion behind it too. So maybe you guys have had a really rough start to 2024. Let's see what's happening for you here. Four of Gabriel. Okay, things are going to start turning around here a little bit for you. A little more stability and justice. Okay, this one feels really big for you guys because I think... Um, there's been a lot going on where it's just like, like all these unfair, again, unjust uh, moments where it's that kind of thing where uh, institutions especially are just unreasonable and trying to twist everything around, twisting the rules. Yes, twisting the rules so it's in their favor. That's going to come back on them. That's going to come back on them. So if some of you are dealing with a legal case, this could be working out quite nicely, but it, with the four of Gabriel, that makes me feel like it's kind of a win-win, all right? Where something, like, you're winning, but it's like, you're winning in the sense that it's now off your plate, okay? So there could be, there were maybe a compromise or something, right? Something, because it just feels emotionally stable. So it's not this, well, I don't know yet. We got more cards to pull for you. But thus far, it's just having this uh, feeling of, Okay, that's done. Now that could have to do with a home, closing on a home, maybe all the legal legalities are finally put into place or the documents are signed. Um, I'm getting chills about that. <laughs> so there could be something really lovely around home coming up for you guys this month, but things are evening out. If you have had a moment where like, let's say, because it has Raguel on the Justice card. Archangel Raguel is all about how we play nicely or not nicely with others, okay? Uh, learning lessons through relationships. So if you have had someone around you, a colleague, family member, friend, love partner, they're just always taking these little underhanded digs. Number one, if it's a love partner, you need to examine that. No love partner should be taking little digs at you to drag you down. Or a friendship for that matter. You know what I mean? But this could be the kind of thing where you're like, okay, I'm always the bigger person. I'm always kind of just uh, leaving room for someone to maybe even be straight up obnoxious. And then you see them get their karma a little bit. Yeah. Solutions. We have solutions. The lovers. And I think that really does mean... Some of you are either reconnecting. Like if you have a healthy relationship, that relationship, you're going to have many more beautiful moments within that partnership. And if you're single and you're looking, yeah, they're saying a lot is getting unlocked for you this month, right? So if something was just taking your attention, that's not cleared up. Uh, God's source creator is sort of taking care of that situation, <laughs> And now you, wow, you have the sun here too. The sun. <sighs> Something's evening out. Okay, this is your time. I would say, remember this is angelic messaging that's coming through. We're working with angels here. The angels you have showing up, and I would encourage you to be working with these archangels throughout March. We have Gabriel, Raguel, Zadkiel. Raphael and Uriel. We'll go through each of these cards, but overall, someone's getting theirs, okay, <laughs> for good or for bad. All right, let's start with the four of Gabriel. Uh, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. And I feel like there's something here with the Justice card that was a burdensome situation. The Justice card has the eight on it. We know, you know, very easily... Uh, probably have heard that eight is the number of abundance. So there you go. Uh, Archangel Raguel, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. With the two of these cards here, this feels like the block. The justice card is sort of the block to your abundance that has been occurring. And this has probably been going on for a couple or a few years. 
you're working, you're working, you're working, there's no payoff. You are doing everything right. You're taking all the steps. You're taking all the advice, implementing all of these steps with no good outcome, right? Or a stagnant, they're telling me stagnant. The word is stagnant, a very stagnant kind of uh, outcome. But that is changing this month because we have solutions here. Now, the number on here is 14. When we talk about angel numbers, we would add, I'm shedding. Hold on a second. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we would add the four and the one. It would turn into five, which is the number of change. We're not talking about mathematical reducing or how a number. Okay, everybody calm down. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the card is solutions. Archangel Zadkiel. When Zadkiel is showing up for you, there's a little bit of a message here of, okay, it's time to stop taking it now. It's time to lift yourself out of this lower perspective of yourself. It's time to stop diminishing your accomplishments because people around you might get jealous. Although keep, keep your wins. You know, I wouldn't go out bragging, but certainly don't do that. But if you're going to get like, oh, whatever, anybody could do that kind of energy from someone, of course, don't share it. Okay. But you also don't, you also don't need to just uh, keep everything as a secret. It's a balance. Okay. And Zadkiel is all about burning up things or dissipating things that no longer serve you. He's associated with the violet flame. If you've heard about the violet flame meditation, burning up the past, or if you don't like the burning part of it, because <laughs> they dissipate, uh, letting it fade into pure, beautiful violet light and it gets transmuted. Okay, that is the energy of Zadkiel. Success. Here we go. Success that comes from objective compromise. Okay, remember how I said it feels like it's kind of like there's a compromise with this, whatever this justice thing is. Uh, Self-control and patience for giving and healing energy. It's sort of like, all right, it, it's better that this just gets put to rest because it's taking too much of my life force. It's better to lay this down because it's not worth, um, someone's, okay, hold on. I just heard someone's going to try to drag it out. <sighs> someone's going to try to drag it out because they may not have gotten as much or something, but someone stops them. This might be a judge if it's that sort of thing, or if this is a legal situation and you check with like, get professional advice of course let's say you check with a lawyer and they say oh no that that doesn't pertain to you or your business and you're sort of like oh okay thank god <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like we're good there are solutions being put into place now march for a lot of americans is when we're doing our taxes um maybe we could put that in there too where you're finding okay this isn't as hard as i thought a little more free flow with that now we have the lovers the number six, the number six in angel numbers. If you don't know, I have a video. It's an old video, but it's a good one. I mean, the quality is not great. Check out the weekly for February 26, 2024 for the whole story around that. But the information's good. <laughs> and it's like angel signs, uh, repeating numbers or something like that. It's right on the front page of my YouTube channel. But this is material manifestation. This is the material world. And we have the lovers. So this is talking about... A reignition of love. That does not necessarily mean that a past love partner is coming back. It's you maybe having accepted, okay, maybe I'm just better on my own, right? Maybe you're one of those people. And I got a little lightheaded as I said that. <laughs> like, a bit like in a, um, that stuff happens in a reading. You get these sensations. Um, this made me kind of feel like I'm floating, like being on cloud nine kind of thing with a love partnership. But it doesn't mean that someone from the past necessarily is coming back. It just means that you're reigniting uh, within you an openness to receiving love, an openness to receiving partnership, okay? Archangel Raphael, this comes from a lot of healing. And again, there have been some very surface level situations, home, uh, legalities, forums, like these things that are kind of like most people don't really enjoy doing that. That's all getting done. It's being put to rest. And now maybe you feel like you can have fun. Maybe you feel like you can put yourself back out there and start dating because you don't have to worry about 
staying at home and taking care of this. Or again, if you're married or you're already partnered off with somebody, could be a very romantic month if you allow it, okay? If you're in a partnership, the lover's card with Raphael showing up, that means heart healing. And where was there forgiving? Was there forgiving? I'm hearing forgiving. Yeah, but I didn't make that up. And the solutions card, <laughs> there's four, what does it say? Forgiving and healing energy. And then we go right into the lovers. So maybe if you're in a partnership, you are working some sort of disagreement out and it's deepening your connection. It'd be very beautiful. Make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. Now, listen, this is not a thing to encourage you to stay in a toxic situation. Or if you're one of those people who you're in this relationship with a manipulator, you know, and they come back and say, I love you, baby. Let's get, let's get back together. And then you get back together and you're like, see, that's what the card said that we're, it's not what the cards are saying. <laughs> if that were the case, if you've already gotten, and God love you, if you're in a situation like that, make sure you get with local uh, authorities or whatever you need to do to get out of a bad situation safely. Check with the resources you have around you. But if this is a case where you've already gotten out of a toxic situation or you're walking away from that, this is a chance to heal from that, right? And keep yourself safe and to move on. And this is the thing. I think I'm the most excited about this <laughs> for all of you. Because now you're rediscovering yourself. No matter what your situation is this month, March is the time where maybe you do kind of refocus here. Maybe it is a little bit of, I've gotten off track. I've gotten off track. I have been forcing something to happen or I've held on. We know that's a big theme quite often. <laughs> Hanging on for way too long and I've lost myself in the mix here. So here we have the number 19, nine and one is 10, one and zero is one. Getting back to you, all right? The sun is the solar plexus. This is Archangel Uriel. So from everything that you have learned, the wisdom you've gained, this is what's going to come into play to help you reinvent yourself. It has a lot of potential to be that. And I'm sorry, but like the lover, I'm not sorry. The The sun and the lovers here for some of you, it is putting this beautiful light energy up my spine. It's like if you, especially for those of you who have remained single to work on yourselves, this is a fantastic energy. It is the type of energy where you've put the effort in and now it's your time. And part of why a love partnership would work well for some of you now and maybe it wouldn't have before is because you're stepping into your own because you've taken that time. <coughs> Pardon me. I was trying to work through that one, but no, nah. <coughs> it had to come out. All right. <laughs> maybe because, because you have taken the time. If you've ever seen people who hop from relationship to relationship to relationship, they do not know how to be alone. And you've been out here, you've been single, you've been working on yourself. And then this person, they already have someone, right? And they're like, I'm bored. I'm going to look for my next relationship. And maybe you were just talking to someone and they swoop in with all their manipulations, right? And their fear tactics from themselves. Like, I got I to gotta land this person. And, you know, they sweep someone away from you. That is a dynamic that uh, <laughs> if you are one of those people that can't be alone, this is not going to work out well for you, okay? This is not going to work out for you because um, a lot of times, I, I, I don't want to sit here and say like it's greedy, like there's a limited amount of love out there. I don't mean that, but I think some of you are friends with people like that. I had a friend like that in New York. She was engaged, having an affair on the side, and she got so threatened because I was, we were all out one night and me and this guy were flirting with each other. And it was so cute. And the guy was so sweet. And, you know, we, we could have had a lovely, probably could have dated, right? Um, we probably could have had a lovely dynamic. But this friend sent the other girls over to do her bidding, sent them over and said, basically back off of him. She's interested in him, right? That's coming up. 
if it's coming up, it's because someone's experiencing it. Okay. So the sun, Archangel Uriel, life is wonderful. Leave those people behind. Don't even be friends with those people. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. You are the comeback kids this month where people are like, oh my gosh, like how did you even get through that? You are going to have stories to tell. <laughs> and I'm very happy for all of you because the good that is coming, you deserve the good. All right. So have a good March 2024. I love you guys. AngelSouls444.com if you would like a reading. Take care.